God bless saints, fire and ice. Um, I just saw something, and I had, I was seeing something in the spirit, but also I just saw something online, I don't know if it was true, it was like some kind of TikTok thing talking about our cargo, like, how everything's starting, like, it's hard to get to the stores and everything, to like, some of the supplies that, well, people in America need, or people anywhere, and this is pertaining to something I'll say like two things, almost like how we've been preconditioned basically to accept certain things and like in this vision I saw like the human, how it was building a giant human being all the way up until it led all the way up to the quarry for everyone to take the mark, but not just that, that's just one side of it. I kept thinking of the chapter of Daniel where it talks about the different forms the beast will have and then how you know how everything, you ever heard of the term marine spirits, how everything kind of like goes back out to the sea. You see the, the hat on the Pope's head. I don't want to throw anything getting anybody lost, just listen to this. That how everything connects back to the sea. And like, why is marine spirits a thing that, well, if you go back, go into the chapter of Daniel, it talks about the horns, and it talks about what is it like seven horns or something about the beast and that shell and like the vision you saw the beast coming out of the sea with the different horns and you could say well all that connects with the the woman of Babylon she's riding the beast and everything well I also put in the video not just with the giants like think of terms and giants for instance okay how I thought it told it was saying in other visions they're saying other things how these giants are supposed to come back and like dreams of giants I was having. Uh, that chapter, it's just like, well, many people will say that like the term giants, well, it's not a physical thing. Like giants aren't physically gonna come back over our planet again. I don't know because I kept thinking about this. Something brought it to my attention and I just, is it any coincidence? I just saw something online there's a friend of mine in the UK that lives in Sydney. I talk to her sometimes, and she just put out something that I had our cargo stuff, supplies on the boats to get where I needed to go. And the whole thing started turning over and up and down. And all of a sudden, it was just like, uh, I don't know if it was real or not, but the thing was, is if you believe, like, you know, there was giants physically that actually roamed the other planet and said like, cause I thought in terms, well are they gonna come back in spirit form or could it be a physical thing? Think of terms and giants, okay, spiritual, but also even if they do come back in the physical, it's still spiritual, okay, that. What I just saw a minute ago was our, car, our cargo ship being turned up inside down and it was being flipped, turned back and forth. And you can say this is a physical thing, and I don't know, because I know the end of times has to deal with a lot of, like, uh, not just predictive programming, but a lot of uh, misuse information. But the main thing is the whole of, in, like, misinformation. It's all about information being, we're being lied to, being misinformed, deceived. Information is going from here, here and from wherever. It's a war on information, pretty much. That, this video could have been like photoshopped or whatever, but the video was the boat was turning upside down. All of a sudden, you see the cargo ship, the ship coming off the stuff, the, the supplies coming off the ship. And all of a sudden, you see the waves turning, and all of a sudden, it starts to form something. And something comes out of the sea and it takes a hold of and starts eating the cargo. And all of a sudden, it's like you see a face. And this is supposed to be an actual video in real life of something out, not probably out in the Baltic Sea somewhere, out some in the ocean. And let's go back to Daniel. The beast had like, what was it, like seven horns and everything. And um, this thing literally looked like a mix. The face of this thing had eyes. Literally, I just saw this on videos on some guys I have to go back and look at. Uh, whoever wants to know, I'd have to try to find the video again to, to uh, be able to send it to someone to show it. But, they're probably going to have it online. I don't know if they will or not. It was on 
TikTok it, but it could again, it could have been fake. But then again, we don't know everything that's in the ocean. There's stuff that can be hidden, but it looked like a mix between a giant turtle and some type of dragon type thing. And it had eyes and it was huge and it was bigger than the boat. And it was eating the cargo. And supposedly it was a video and that was another reason why they're saying like, this stuff is being hidden from us because I guess our government and this goes back to the dreams I was having about the government, deep state, and CIA hiding these creatures from us until the time was for them to be released. Okay? And the Great Tribulation, I believe, if you get kind of deep with it, which I know it can be good sometimes, but some things, if God reveals it to you, then you should know that who's to say these things are not going to come back in physical form. I'm just putting it out there and I'm just saying who's to say that these giants are not going to come back in physical form because the thing came out of the sea and it was bigger than the bow and it was eating the cargo. And it wasn't from a movie. It was showing that someone from a news station someone was actually filming this. Now, I don't know if it was true because I can't remember it's a war on information. They could have photoshopped. They could have put it in there. Could have been fake. I don't know, but isn't it funny how everything's just revelation? Everything all has come together. But we don't know everything. I mean, we read the Bible, we believe, we live by faith, we not by sight. But at the same time, who's to say these things are not going to come back in physical form? There was a movie again that was put out called The Eternal Ones. The Eternal Ones. It was by Disney. And there was a point, I think, in that movie where all of a sudden you see these giant creatures come out of the earth back and go and start walking across the earth. Who's to say they're not going to come back in the physical? As in, as real as I am talking to you, um, everything, but just know these things are warring against the Most High. They hate God. These are the Nephilim. They were birthed from the fallen the fallen angels and Enoch so no matter what happens men's hearts will fail them for knowing what's going to come over the earth out of fear you know that passage who's to say that hasn't that don't have anything to do with this that bless and then fire and I stay stronger than y'all